Hey everybody and welcome to Duality 9X, the channel where you get the spookiest, creepiest, weirdest videos that are trending on the web. So let's get to it. Let's go. I was being followed no matter what direction I turned. I took a video for safety. Oh, these, these kind of videos are always kind of creepy and there's some weird guy behind her with the mask on. What would happen if you didn't see me taking a video? Tokyo night. So she must be in Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan. Oh, this guy's got his arms up. He's walking like an Egyptian. Wow, this guy's really strange. He's acting quite peculiar. I don't know if he's drunk or... He's just making a complete fool out of himself. That's scary, right? I mean, so obviously this this woman's walking somewhere in the middle of the night in Tokyo, what appears to be Tokyo, Japan, and there was there was some weird guy following her long enough for her to pull out her phone and to start recording him. And so obviously she felt a little awkward, uh, uneasy about the whole thing, which is why she started recording. And as soon as I think as soon as he caught whim of the fact that he's being recorded. Then he started acting kind of weird and started walking like an Egyptian. Um, and, and she said it, Beth, her name is Beth. She said it best. Uh, what would happen if you didn't see me taking the video? That's, that's, an interesting, that's an interesting point. Like, would his demeanor change? Would his attitude change? That's crazy. Okay, what's going on here? Somebody broke an arm. Yeah. I don't know. Mom, go. Oh. Jaden? Yeah, it is. Go, go next door. Go next door and get your IC, okay? If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream, call 911. Okay. Okay? Oh, she's brave. I, would you go to... I don't know if it's a good idea for her to go inside. She sees there's some look there's somebody walking in her home. Yeah. I don't know. Did you see that in the window? Oh. And the lights turned off. Wow, and she's still brave enough to go inside her home? She should call the police. She instead of videotaping, she should stop the videotaping and call 911. Get your IC, okay? If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream call 911. Okay. Okay? Come on. Okay, that that's strange, right? I mean, what would you guys do? If she was she so she she left her home and she was pretty sure, she was pretty confident that she did not leave the lights on. She comes home. Now imagine that's you. You come home to your you 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 come back to your place and you notice that the lights are on. And then on top of that, you notice that there's some movement going on behind the window would you continue to record and, and then tell your kid just you know go next door and I mean you leave your kid unattended in the middle of the night nah that yeah that's just a lot I don't know that's strange following video shows a priest oh who's about demonic to activity captured on video really creepy happens Although not much info is given on the video, the title of the clip says it all, which reads, A priest is about to give a speech, but immediately hears screams. The clip is pretty unsettling to say the least. This is what was captured. Sound like gospel singing.
el Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Oh, oh they're Lectura screaming. Del Somebody's screaming in the back. Según San Juan. Oh. 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 <laughs> The priest was immediately caught off guard upon hearing the mysterious screams. According to those who attended the ceremony, the priest had to end the mass immediately after this. No one knows why the mass had to end so soon, but there is no denying that the screams had something to do with this. Whether paranormal or not, the sudden occurrence of this mysterious scream is unnerving on its own, but with everyone else's reaction to the cry, wow. it makes it even more frightening. This recording was taken about four months ago, and still, no one knows where the cries had come from. As with most videos, this one remains a mystery. Oh, that's disturbing, right? I mean, you, you could clearly see the two boys look vividly shaken up, right? And that one kid in, with, the, with the red mask, he's like looking around, like you hear this wailing going on or screaming going on in the background. And he turns around and, and the the priest continues like he doesn't break rhythm right like you know and then all of a sudden he yeah it, it was getting too much to the point where he had to stop and and that's it they ended mass wow that was uh that was pretty scary unexplained things caught on camera this is a weird one all oh, airbnbs are staying at an airbnb <sighs> there's always stories about airbnb New mexico and they discover this little cubby like trap door thing on the floor and they try pulling it up and it actually comes up so oh, she's they're really going curious down? now with okay. all the stuff going on and hotels don't go down movies, don't go down like it's just weird don't out there. there they want to see what is down in this hole that's under one of the bedrooms so this brave 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 mm. brave lady decides to crawl down in this tiny little hole uh it's super like gross down here it's like basement stuff but she has her phone out. You're gonna see her phone in her hand and she's gonna be recording something uh, around the corner there. And she's going to bring it up and show what she just found. But apparently, somehow, some way. Oh, there's a human skull. human skull. There's literally a human I didn't even skull see that. Underneath their Airbnb bedroom in this. That room. is bizarre. You know, you, you hear these stories about Airbnb, right? And, uh, and and come on, like, even people, like, I mean, people even, uh, people that I know who have stayed at Airbnbs, you just, you just never know. You always have that feeling that somebody's watching you. I've got that feeling, somebody's watching me. And you never know, right? There could be that hidden camera, there could be something, something around. And so whatever, these two ladies, they felt bugged enough, like spooked enough or whatever it was, but they felt that they have to check something out. They found this hidden contraption or door, trap door uh, in the floor. They went down. Like, first of all, I wouldn't even, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, there's a lot of brave people out there and I guess I just wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't go through somebody else's home and start, look, if I, if I felt that there was something really weird and off about the place, I'm done. I'm out. That's it. And if there was something like that was just kind of getting to my spider senses, I, I'd call the cops, right? Call the police. And but I mean, the fact that she was able to do all that and go down into the, you know, into the tunnel or into the basement, or whatever area that was, and finding a human skull. God, there's so many questions. <laughs> Okay. This freaky piece of footage was sent to us by viewer Dallas D.H. who was captured in Millingimby in the Northern Territory of Australia. The three boys thought they were posing for a photo, but the camera holder was playing a trick and actually recording a little bit of video. However, they inadvertently captured something rather unusual. Watch. <laughs> Watching that again in the background, a strange dark figure can be seen. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. The boys yell and scream, like and then the clip abruptly ends. 
What do you think's been caught on camera here? Is. Love to hear your thoughts on this strange sighting in the comments down below. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Something, something's just kind of like crawling like a spider. That's just weird. 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 I started recording because this guy was being sus. I was just trying to thrift. Can I buy? No, it's okay. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah. Are you engaged with someone or involved with someone? No, I'm not. But I'm not either. Get out of there. She's clearly not interested in this old geezer. I, look, she's 17 years old. She's she's just, you know, she's shopping. She's thrifting, you know, going through clothes. And then some some guy is like, like, he doesn't get the hint, right? She's like, okay, yeah, thank you, but no thank you. Uh, by the way, I'm 17. That's, hello, a hint to back off. Go away. No, this guy continues on. You know, oh, my knee is really hurt. You know, got a problem with my knee. And yeah, I think some woman, you know, took a chunk out of it. Like, what? <sighs> What's wrong with people? What's wrong with people? Okay. I, I hope she, I hope she got away. And I hope she never crossed paths with that guy that weirdo ever again and I hope nobody else cross cross paths with that and if you ever see if you ever come across anyone like that and they're in your space and you've clearly indicated to that individual to back off and they're still in your space you have every right to report them all right moving on this next video was posted by a woman named Morley Gons, who states oh, that something dolls, very strange was captured in a video that was taken many years dolls ago. The girl in this out? clip is Lorley's cousin-in-law's daughter, who was about 10 years old when she took this video. Doll According to Lorley, she was filming oh. herself in her bedroom when something pretty spooky happened. The video starts off with the young girl playing with her toys, doing a show and tell of a kitchen playset she was recently given. Hello, Aristas. Hoy estamos en un nuevo video para mi canal y hoy vamos voy a estar mostrando eh, las cositas tenedores y todas las cositas de cocina que tengo para jugar. Now, as the young girl states, this video is for her YouTube channel, which, according to Lorley, is solely based on pretend play videos and toy reviews. What was meant to be an innocent pretend play video turned out to be something completely different. Take a look. Primero tengo este cuchillo. Okay. Pues tengo nice. esto que es como para cortar pizza, creo. Pizza slicer. Tengo esto. Acá. Una cuchilla. Y lo sabe. Dos tenedores así. Una rosita, igual que el cuchillo que mostré al principio. No sé si lo mostré al principio. Y este tenedor amarillo. Pues tiene Okay. We're fast forwarding here. Hey! Oh, jeez. Did that, did, that was the oh look the hand is up the hand is up on the stall. It was promptly after noticing the doll's arm lifting on its own that the girl pauses, turns around, and bolts out in a panic frenzy. Even before this, it appeared that she had already sensed something strange was happening. As if seeing one of her toys suddenly fall by that's, itself wasn't already enough to make freaky. her feel unsettled. That's, this see, happens. Dolls. Dolls. Now currently, the girl in this video is 14 years old, but despite how old this video is, it continues to haunt her to this day. Yeah. Just like Lorley and others who've seen this clip, they have no idea as to how the doll how, seemingly how the... moved on its own. Doll videos. Something about doll videos. Something about dolls. They're just freaky. Okay. Scariest paranormal activity caught on camera. 
It's like a woman, she's holding her baby, and she's in her room. Oh, cute little. Okay. She didn't even realize, but her stuffed animal. Okay, two, two, two. Whoa, goosebumps! Wow. Okay, so. Hmm. That, that's interesting. Yeah. This panda just sitting there. Boop. And then all of a sudden, the wastebasket's kind of coming closer to her. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, let's see. A security camera records a child who's inside a crib when something downright creepy is captured. The child's mother had posted the following video as she doesn't know what to make of it. She was in the same room as her son, when out of nowhere, he began to cry. It wasn't until watching the footage that she was left disturbed. The mother writes, I'm still trying to figure out if the camera glitched or something pushed my baby. This is what was caught. Look at the baby, it's just like, it's like looking at something. Oh my gosh. The child all of a sudden disappears from the camera's view. It appears that he was pushed over forcefully. The question is though, what exactly had pushed him over? Holy smokes. The cradle smokes. in the back continues to swing as the child vanishes from the frame. Right. Suggesting that this wasn't a glitch. If it was, then the swing would have skipped a frame, just like the child had. Yeah, that's but, right. as you can see, not a single frame is skipped. So then, if this wasn't a glitch, then what was it? No one else is seen in the room except the mother and child, and nothing appears to have pushed him over. As with all videos, it's up to you to decide if this is something paranormal or not. The child's mother has yet to figure that out. But as always, feel free to share what you <sighs> think. Yeah, that, that's, you know, especially when there's little kids involved, just, ah. But you, you know, this, this little baby sitting in a, in like a little baby chair in its crib. And all of a sudden, just boom. Not even just like a gradual kind of like maybe the baby was kind of rocking or, you know, lost a little balance and it, it fell over. It looked like it was literally pushed over. And yeah, the, the cradle kept going. It, it didn't miss a beat. Whoever wrote this ad many years ago honestly deserves an award. Like if the marketing industry had Oscars, this would win all of them. This was an ad in the UK by Lloyds Bank that says, I don't love you anymore. And then the call to action is for your next step. Lloyd's Bank. It doesn't just give you an aha moment it's so easy to grasp because if you're the target audience, women going through divorce, this is such a gut punch and it's a great example of how a brand 
is emotionally connecting through their advertising. So imagine if this well, that's ad weird said, marketing. hey, if you're going through a divorce and if you need help with your, no, this wouldn't work the same way. So the next time you're working on a marketing or ad campaign for your digital products or services or physical mm -hmm. products, you want to tap into the deeper emotions and not just talk about the surface level features of what you sell. And that's why. Hmm. That's some terrible marketing. Yeah, that's not cool. I don't love you anymore. Hey guys. Oh, okay. So I was told about this this four part series here. So we'll start with part one. Okay. So I can make this video, but for everyone out there that has a Google Home device, this one in particular, please be careful. Oh my God. So three days ago, I was sleeping and it was about four or five in the morning and my Google Home is connected. Like I always listen to music, especially when I'm lashing or just in my room. I just always listen to music. What's so, lashing? I was sleeping a couple of lashing. days ago, like I said, at five in the morning. I hear my Google Home talking, okay? So I'm oh, thinking man. maybe I had an alarm, I don't know. But that's weird. That just never happens. So anyways, I'm like half asleep. And then I hear my Google Home speaking. It does not sound like my Google Home. It sounds like an Asian little girl, sweet, innocent little girl. And she's saying, hello, like, hello, like that. Like, I am. Hello. <sighs> okay. Is it me you're so then, looking for? Yeah, I was terrified. Like, I'm, I'm scared. Like, I'm scared. And some shit just happened now that I just have to make this video. So, it starts saying hello, and then it starts talking. I see you. Hey, turn around. Hey, turn around. I see you. I see you. And I was like, what the? What? Yeah. yeah. So, I turned around, and... No, actually, I didn't turn around at this point. At this point, I was thinking, hey, Google turn volume off or go on mute right 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 and when i said that guys my my mic was on mute okay so the entire volume went up and it said oh. hello oh. hey turn around i'm right behind you i see you hey want to play a game i promise i won't kill you we play ah. this game okay this is all being said to me in this little girl's voice, okay? Okay, that's... I get up, I unplug my Google Home immediately. Immediately. Yeah, you immediately. did. So I recently connected it because... Yeah, you did. I need to listen to music, right? And I totally forgot about the situation. So I go outside, and I come back inside, and I'm laying on my bed. I'm talking on the phone, okay? I'm talking on the phone, and oh my god please stay for part two <laughs> whoa yeah you know um Ale hey alexa hey google yeah those things are yeah i don't know what do you guys think well let's let's check out part two hey guys so this is part two of my google home story it, the more I think about it, the more creepy it gets. She seems um, really stressed. Let me get right into it. But before that, before that, excuse me, please go back to my profile and watch part one so that you can understand the full story. Um, so, before I start, let's be kind to one another. Let's be nice. Let's let's just respect one another on my platform please i i'm all about kindness and respect so please guys let's just be nice to one another so after good, that happened everything that i mentioned on part one the next day around four or five in the morning i receive a dm and these th uh, this i'm mexican so you know Sometimes my English and my Spanish cross paths and then I stutter. Okay, so the next day I receive a DM 
from a profile that has no pictures, 79 followers, a weird name that's like BDSJ, D, F, J, K, like these weird letters, right? Like they make no sense, no name whatsoever. It's just a bunch of letters put together. No pictures, nothing, nothing. So they said, look out your window. Um, once again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so scared and I'm like confused too because I have no problems, zero problems, zero issues, zero, like nothing. I don't have any problems with people. I, I have no idea who this might be that is messing with me. So I look out my window, not my window particularly, but my sister's window because it's in the corner and you, they can't really see you if you were to look outside. I don't see anything. And um, once I come back to my room, they DM me again and it says, I seen you, don't be scared. <laughs> At this point, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, what WTF, like, I called the cops. Mm -hmm. Cops where I live don't care. They never showed up to my house. I I wanted to do a police report. They never showed up. However, um, oh my God, part three. I don't need to make a part three, guys. Um, I'm, I'm going to make it right now. Okay. Part three, right? Okay. Part three. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, so this is part three of my Google Home story. If you haven't watched part two or one, please go back to my profile so that this can all make sense to you. So it was brought to my attention that I did not mention what happened during my phone call. Okay, so what happened during the phone call is so fucking creepy. Oh, language, language. I got Sorry guys, my I should have warned you guys. Was racing. I apologize I started for that. yelling. This is crazy okay so my google home goes off okay and it's the same voice asian accent little girl voice and i know people have said how do you know she's asian let's keep it real guys we know what certain accents sound like okay so the same voice is singing ring around the rosy no music She's just singing it, ring around the rosy. I ran out of my room. I fucking ran. I ran. I came back and I disconnected it. That's what happened. That's why I made, <coughs> excuse me. That's why I made part one, okay? So this is the screenshot of the DM. As you can see, they blocked me. So now it says Instagram user, okay? But the name was a BD something, and I'm going to post that screenshot. I just can't find it, but I have so many screenshots on my phone from, like, quotes and, like, a lot of different things. But I'm going to look for it so I can show you guys the complete name, and it's so weird. Okay, 73 followers, like I said. They said, open your window. I saw you. Don't be scared. I messaged them. Who are you? I called. I called. I called. They didn't fucking answer, and then I was blocked. Okay? I was blocked. This is, this is, this is so scary. This is, this is just, I don't know who this could be. Who is mm. messing with me? Do I have a stalker? Like, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? All right. So there's one more part. I was told there's going to be four parts. So that's why I kind of went right to part one. We got through part two, part three. Didn't, I'm still kind of. You know, uh, I still don't have all the details. So I don't know about you guys, but let's check hey it guys, out. Hey guys, this is part four of my Google Home story. I know it's been such a long time, but oh. I had to take a break from my story because people were so rude and mean to me in the comments. And for the past couple of hours, I've noticed that there's people coming back to my page and looking at my Google Home story, commenting and liking. And so... I noticed that one of the girls mentioned that my video um, was on YouTube and that the Matthews fam, I believe that's the name, um, 
made a video with uh, two of my TikTok clips and of course other videos. It's not just mine. Um, so a lot of people are saying, uh, where's part four? Are you okay? What happened? They want an update. So I'm here to update you guys. I'm safe. I'm good. Um, That's good. That's good. I'm okay. I was left alone. I'm sure it was a troll. It was a very scary experience for me. And I wanted to keep updating you guys. However, the mean comments and uh, reactions that I received from some people not good. made me want to stay, stay away from social media for a while. That's why you see a big gap on my TikTok. And so I just didn't want to read any of the comments. And you know what? I noticed that even on YouTube, it's still happening. And this happens all the time, right? I already knew this was going to happen, but I didn't know I was going to like take it the way I took it. So now I'm back and I'm ready to um, just start posting more on TikTok. Let's go, let's so go, I'm let's get ready to rumble. Everything is okay. And um, yeah, be nice because you guys can be mean. You can be Come on, mean guys, be nice. And just say things that are not true and that are just assumptions and start attacking my looks and my makeup like let's just be nice to one another and let's uh, spread positivity and stay safe with these uh, google home devices alexa all of those devices um stay safe uh like i said i'm, I'm good i don't use my google home as much well i don't hear at home i use it this a lot but that's pretty much it and it's not connected to the internet it's only connected to my bluetooth um, but yeah uh i'm good and be nice. Thank you. I also forgot to mention that I was not making this up. This was all true, all real. This was not for cloud. This was not for any of those things. This is something that really happened to me. And I understand how people can say like, oh, how did you forget? Well, I have a lot of things going on and I'm also home alone. So I just forgot about like the whole situation. I thought it was just like a one-time hack thing. But it wasn't, and so that's why I say let's be nice to each other because you just don't know the impact or what's really going on, honestly. And I don't have time to come on here and make up stories. So let's be nice to one another, and that's it. And if you have any other uh, stories that you want to share, something similar that happened to you, please comment below uh, and tell me your story. Yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's an, in, it's an interesting story. I got parts of it and stuff, but, you know, she had a message, you know, be nice to one another, and I think that's a great message. I think everyone should be nice to one another, right? All right, guys. Um, sorry, guys. All right, I think uh, I think that's it. Uh, another short one today, but I, I I appreciate you guys joining us. If you're intrigued by the content, uh, all we can ask for is that you like and you share and you subscribe. Right, you know, like these videos, share it with your fellow uh, enthusiasts and friends, and uh, definitely subscribe. It definitely helps us out. And um, yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys on the next adventure. As usual. And I look forward to cranking out some more content for you guys and ready to explore and see what the world has for us next. We'll see you guys on the next one.